All right, guys, so today we're going to work on drawing a portrait, okay? And the first thing you need when you're drawing a portrait, or um, a self-portrait, either one, is if you're drawing a self-portrait, we can use a mirror or even um, like a video to be able to look at ourselves um, while we're drawing. Or even if you have a picture of yourself, you can um, use that as well. And if you're drawing a pic of like a portrait of someone else, you can have them sit there while you draw. Or if you have a picture of them, um, you can do that too, okay? So, um, when we're drawing a portrait, we need to really look at the person um, that we're drawing, either the picture or the person, or yourself, right? So the first thing we do is we start with the face shape, okay? So, um, and if you want to, we can practice drawing these shapes. Now, when I practice drawing these shapes, I don't touch my pen or my pencil to my paper. I'm just, I have my pen or my marker or my pencil above the paper, and I'm just gonna practice this shape here, okay? I'm just gonna practice this shape. I'm not gonna do the hairline. I'm just gonna do from like the eyes to the chin to the eyes. Okay, and I'm practicing this shape. All right, so I'm gonna come over here, and then I'm gonna draw this shape right there. Now I can practice my hairline, okay? Now I can practice the shape of my hairline. Just like this, just like this. Now, um, if I'm going too fast, you can always pause the video, okay? Now I'm gonna go ahead and draw the top of my hair. So I'm gonna go ahead and draw the top of my hair or the top of my head. So my hair kind of comes around like this, and around like this, okay? Um, and then I'm gonna continue to draw my hair, so, and my ears as well. So in my picture, you can't really see my ears, but I have this hair that I pull back, and then I have hair that comes around here. Just like that. Now we're gonna draw our neckline. So I'm gonna draw my neck here, my neck here. And then I'm going to continue to draw my hair that comes all the way up to my neck, right? And then I can come add some texture up here. Okay, now it's time for us to draw the eyes. Now, um, when we draw the eyes, we can come back here and practice again. I am um, a firm believer in practicing drawing those shapes. Now. The width of your face is five eyes wide. So if we pretend there's one, two, three, four, five eyes here. Um, if we split our face into fifths, then the two middle sections are where we draw our eyes, okay? So I'm gonna start with my right eye, and my eye kind of has a little bit of a straight line, and then it comes up and around, and then we actually have another line above our eye that's where our um, eyelid is. So now I'm gonna come to my other side and I'm gonna try to make it super similar. But the great thing is that none of us are completely symmetrical, right? And that's what makes us all unique and perfect in our own way. So if you're not perfectly symmetrical, that's perfectly fine. And then I'm gonna add some eyebrows. Now it's time for our nose. And again, we can practice drawing that shape of our nose, right? So my nose, I come around and around, and then I have this little part that comes in the middle. And then I like to even draw a line. Now, the mouth, I think the mouth is the hardest part. So my mouth, I'm showing my teeth, but let's pretend that we have a picture where we're smiling or we're frowning and we aren't showing our teeth. So when we start drawing lips, I'm gonna show you right here. We draw the first middle line, okay? You draw the middle line where your top and bottom lip touch. Then we can come in and draw our bottom lip and even our top lip, right? And 
if we have our teeth like I do, then we're still gonna draw the middle lines first. So I'm gonna draw my top lip, and your top lip is what shows your emotion. So um, the bottom of your top lip. So if you're smiling, you make sure you curl it up. If you're frowning, you curl it down. And then I'm gonna draw the top part of my bottom lip, just like that. Now that kind of looks like a smile or lips, but I wanna go ahead and add my lips as well. Just like that. And then I can go in and add teeth. Just like that. So then we can come in and start adding details like the neckline of our shirt or if we have necklaces, right? Or our shoulders. Um, so you can start adding all kinds of different details to your artwork, okay? Just make sure that your shoulders or your arms come all the way down to the bottom of the paper, unless you're waving or something, but make sure your body comes all the way down. It's not like your body's cut in half, okay? So that is how we draw a self-portrait. Awesome, guys. Cannot wait, to, or a portrait, a portrait or a self-portrait. I cannot wait to see how yours turns out. Thanks, guys.